Tell me that. Not you. The Dieter Sachs store detective. There's been a misunderstanding. I need you to help clear it up. Oh, now you want me. All right, I'm coming. The one phone call rule is for real police. You worthless turd. Kill me back here? There's no point in losing the cops if I'm dead in the back God seat. damn it! 
Damn it! You cannot Fuck. wreck not this car. car! You cannot! I do not want to go to prison! Relax, I got this. The cops are still after us! Chill out. It's under control. You trying to kill me back here? Trying to kill me back here? Shit! They're still on us! Relax, I got this. There's no point in losing the cops if I'm dead in the back seat. I said get off me, you stupid bastard! I told you, she's a biter! That's assault on top of the shoplifting beat. Man, the paperwork! What you packing? You know, standard LSPD issue 9 mil. Sweet. I gotta get some hardware. A store detectives... Shit! Alright, let's go! Let's go! Shit! They're still on us! Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Hello? No seatbelts? They're coming, Michael! Relax, I got this. Get us out of here! Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. We are airborne and in route. Go, 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 go! Chill out. It's under control. You trying to kill me back here? Come on, come on, come on! I'm on top of it. The cops are still after us! Relax, I got this. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. 
Is that it? Are they gone? Of course they're gone. Who are you talking to? Come on, I'll take you back to the house. Don't say it! What? Then I have everything I want, so why am I stealing? Oh, my lips are sealed. Because if you say that, I'll say the same to you. I'm not saying anything. I'm just doing my best to keep us out of jail. Where are you going? I mean, who are you to judge me? Oh, I'm not judging? No, not at all. You're loving this, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Risking prison, getting shot at. Get rid of the car, Michael. It can't stay in the driveway. Oh, and yeah, thank you.
All right, Lester, I got us the tag team rifles. All right, then this score is ready to go. Come inside and meet the crew. All right, I want to say thanks for being a part of our little operation. We're all professionals, we all know the score. We're gonna execute the plan, we're gonna move quick, and we're gonna keep cool. Anybody gets pinched, this meeting never took place. We don't know each other, is that clear? Now, we've um, looked very, very carefully at the plans. We considered something more complicated, but given the location, the weakness of staffing, and the exit points, we believe that a more simple plan will work best. We're gonna hack in, disable security, and waltz right in through the front door. The security guard should be to our left. We neutralize him, 15 seconds later, you come in. I want extreme pressure applied to the staff. The customers are to be calmly subdued. I want one guy on crowd control while you and I empty out the merchandise from the cabinets. We're in and out in 90 seconds, guys. Franklin will handle your getaway. I'm leaving on foot. Any questions? Good luck, everyone. Let's go. F, come on, get in. Paige, you're in the truck with the bikes, everyone else with me. All right, Frank's got the wheel. Eddie and Norma are in the back, I'm sitting up front. All right, listen up. The four of us in this van, we're about to become accomplices in a major crime. I gotta be able to trust you with my life, my liberty, my reputation. Same goes the other way. A crew will only work, only work, when there's trust. So, in the interest of fostering that type of relationship in the short time we've got, let me introduce myself. I'm Michael. I've done this type of thing before, more than a few times, and I've made good money doing it. Enough to spend a long time not doing it. I hope it goes without saying, I know a lot of people. Anyone yaps about me or any of you, you'll be dealt with. Got it? Good. Now, Frank, over to you. Uh, yeah, man, I'm Franklin, dawg. And um, I'm new to these kind of planned out detail robberies. I've done my shit of small jobs, you know, liquor stores, warehouses, boosting cars. But then I met this dude right here, Michael, man. And he turned me on to this thing. So, who's next? Michael DeSanto. Formerly Michael Townley, right? Can I just say, you're the reason I got the game, man. You're my inspiration. The original outlaw. I don't know what you're talking about. So stop talking. Uh, be cool, man. Your secret's safe with me. Us. This is it. Let's move. Go get the bikes. Go! Right. Ah! Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, this is your moment. Please don't make me ruin all the great work your plastic surgeons have been doing. On the floor, now! Go, 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 go! I'm on the display cases. Hey, lady, you want to get killed? Stop right there! Not a lot of time left! My wife would like it in here. A minute left. Nice work, man. There's a reason you're paid what you're paid. I'm bagging it. Cleaning them out. Quick hands. 50 seconds. Let's go! Let's go! By that guy. Grab it and move! Let's go! We're doing this! 40 seconds. All right, we cleaned them out. Let's get out of here. All right, that's our target. Keep it up. See how much we can... So for the last time, move it. Make it the fuck out my face. Oh. Oh. You forget a thousand things every day, pal. Make sure this is one of them.
see you at the river. Go. Let's go, come on! Stay on me, across here. Let's go! We got a sharp left coming up on Dorset Drive. Hey, keep moving! You are a bit! On. It's dark in here. G crashed this bike, man. That's what happens when you're working with fools. Guy was a fool. We should be able to get to a tunnel just here. The tunnel diverges, but it'll converge in a second. Keep going through the mud. Bikes should be able to handle it. If you know the route and you're not an idiot, these are the only bikes you choose. Don't go down the tunnels here. Take a left. Go up by the escalators. Hang in there, boys. I got this covered. Shit, man. Hang in there, boys. I got blow bars on the truck. I'll make short work of these cops. More heat, guys! Watch out! There's some serious heat out of here! Back up, here. Watch your ass! I should charge more for getting involved in police chases! Deal with these rollers! Back up close to another star, right? Two bikes? What the hell happened? Man, do a crap before he got in the tunnels! Ah, shit! I should have paid for a better gunman! What happened to his part of the score? I managed to pick it up! All right, then. Good work. Waiting on you, kid. Lester's waiting for us at the lockup. Yeah, I thought you were gonna be stuck under a cop car. There gotta be more dudes waiting around that way. We did not just get away with that shit, did we? You know what? I think we did. Ah, oh, man. All right! Fuck! Oh, one step closer to retirement. I won't say it went off without a hitch, but it went off. All right, people. We need to split up. They're gonna be looking for a crew. I'll wire your cuts when the rocks have been sold. Man, that shit was crazy, dog. So what now? We get out of here. Keep our heads down. Hey, you did good, kid. What'd I tell you, Lester, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, look, everybody take off. Hey, Franklin. Listen, Lester and I got some things we gotta clean up. I want you to stop by the house a little later on. We'll celebrate, all right? All right. Okay. <laughs> huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. We're back in action. I 
don't care if you got money now. Don't you get it? That ain't what I was looking for. Not then, not now, not ever. I know it ain't important. Just let me take you somewhere nice, all right? Where are you? Uh, are you in a strip club? Grow up. Stop looking for the easy way. Tanisha, I gotta go, all right? Uh, I, I'm gonna change, I promise. You won't even recognize me. What's up, homie? Hey, look. Chop got to stay around your crib for a while, homie. That's cool? Yeah, man, it's cool. Shit's the best place for him anyway. Ha! <laughs> like it ain't nobody out there gunning for your black ass. Bullshit, nigga. Just take care of it, man, all right? All right, I got you, dawg. Hey, there you are. What's cracking? So, we all good? Hell yeah, we all good. We did it. Yeah, you fucking ain't right, we did. So, here's the shot. Lester's offloading the gems. He knows a guy. Get us 50 cents on the dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, we might actually have a little spending money left after we pay off that psychotic Mexican motherfucker. Whew. Cheers. So that's that, right? I hope so. The whole job. Everything about it. Anyone who knows your file, what is wrong with you? Davey, long time no see. And what about Trevor? If that fruitcake realizes, no, no, finds out you're alive, you are D-O-N-E fucked. Hey, don't worry about Trevor. Trevor's dead. It's got to be. Besides, I didn't have nothing to do with it. Whatever the hell it is you're talking about. <laughs> really? Criminals are believed to escape with millions of dollars worth of gems, oh. precious stones, and hey, hey, hey. rings. Albert's story had a lucky escape when the thieves ran straight into it. Yeah, I was just doing my job, and I said to this guy, hey, you gotta move these bikes. I don't know anything about that. And this other guy runs out of the shop, pushes me over, and says something like, you forget thousands of things every day. You make sure this is one of them. That was pretty scary. Back to you in the studio. You want to get lit now, sugar? Tre Trevor, baby, you want to you want to smoke up now? Don't do it, Johnny. Don't do it. Trevor, you been with my girl again? I'm speaking with you, asshole. Don't do it, Johnny. I told him, Trevor. I told him. We all get high. We all get high. But that don't Leave make it, it right. Johnny. Leave it. The crystal has got us, babe, but don't make it right. Don't make nothing right. Not what you done with me. I'm telling Johnny, leave it. I ain't leaving nothing. Trevor! I'm talking to you, motherfucker! Are you? What are you saying? <laughs> Fucking my girl, man. It's wrong. Well, I gotta fuck someone. You want me to fuck you instead? I is that the problem here? Take off your pants, cowboy. All right, let's, let's fuck. You think this is funny? Get them off! 
I told him to leave it, Trevor. I told him. Leave it. Leave it. Shut up, Ron. I'm about to fuck me a method, ain't I, cowboy? Get my boy sucked from his toothless gums, huh? Fuck you, Trevor. Oh. I still love her. All right, cowboy. Hey, I know. Hey, come on. Shh. I don't mean nothing by it, man. So I just... I know. I messed up. I know, cowboy. It's okay, man. Give me a hug, yeah. Fucking shit! Cut! 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 Who the fuck are you speaking to? Who? Who? I'm talking to you, huh? You fuck! Johnny! Huh? Next time, don't get in my fucking face! I just saw a fucking ghost and I gotta hear your crap! Get up! Get up! Fuck you then! Wait! <laughs> Fuck! <sighs> now, we gotta speak to Johnny's recently bereaved brothers. His name is Michael Townley. Sounds like he's living in Los Santos. Find him. Really? Uh, my cousin's there, but I don't... Find him! Wait. Does this mean I don't have to come see the bikers? We're in a hurry, but not that much of a hurry. But if we bury Johnny in the desert and then quiet down that bitch Ashley you was in, then they don't need to find out about it. You think it's clever to disrespect women? Disrespect? What? I, I wasn't disrespecting. I was just saying we should kill her. You called her a bitch. Ain't you got a mother? Everyone got mothers, at least one. The bikers are meant to be over by the farm on the right. Hey, you seen Ashley? Johnny's looking for her. Well, you know, as a matter of fact, I just did, just 10 minutes ago. Yeah, I saw her on the end of this penis here. Uh, Johnny ain't gonna be cool if you messing with her again. Oh, really? Well, you don't think so, huh? Well, why don't we just ask him then, huh? Hey, hey, cowboy, you mind that I fucked your old lady? Sorry, what was that? Well, no, 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 you don't mind? Oh, because you're a dead man? And the only sentient part of you left is this little bit of brain and the gristle on the end of my boot? Well, thank you very much, cowboy. Bullshit! Oh, I like it, denial. That is first part of the grieving process, brothers. Now let's all hold hands, huh? Oh, well, looks like you got something you want to say, huh? You got something you need to say? This better be bullshit. Oh, where are you guys going, huh? Let's go, ladies. If that van takes us back to the camp, this area ain't gonna have a biker problem much longer. You got him! Get him! Who makes the sense? Hi! Work! You didn't see that coming! Yeah. All righty, Root! Now we just sit on this guy till he gets to them. The van won't get there if we shoot it too much. Did you see the look on their faces? We scared them, didn't we? Yeah, thank fuck they didn't make you for the harmless idiots you are. You need some seat belts back here, or, or straps, or something. I only keep things in the back, I don't mind losing. You gotta slow it up, man. That's a sharp left. Uh, I can't see us taking out all the bikers this go, boss. I mean, there'll be some by that airstrip. Some over, you know, by that. Not today. Their time will soon be upon you. You keep left. We might be able to jump across there. Do we know 
where you're going yet? I got a feeling, yeah, but we gotta make sure. Once you know, you could drop me and Wade at the trailer. Maybe bring Chef to finish them. We do this now, Ron, all of us. Right on top of them. That's it, yeah, lead us back. these bricks. Oh, look, look! They're pulling up! You did it, Trevor! They're stopping! Sit back and watch the show, you useless pricks. in that trailer, huh? Oh, man! You're kidding me! Let's have some fun! Oh, fuck this! you to anything? Soda? Snacks? No! Get in the fucking truck! <sighs> Wade? What are you still doing here? But you said... I said go find a fucking ghost in Los Santos, all right? You looking for motivation? Oh, yeah, pick me up some sticky bombs. Ortega lives near here. Let's go see him. It's one thing messing with tweaked out bikers, but the Aztecas? Man! The Aztecas? It's just a name. Is he Illuminati as well? And a wacky? Not one of those lizard people? I got this Chinese contact you can meet at the end. He'll buy all the meth we can cook. Our enterprise ain't just about meth, it's about guns, too. The Aztecas control the guns, so we're taking them out. There he is! Let's wake him up! What? With the truck? No, come on! Trevor runs the whole county! No anymore! Here we go! Oh, shit! Oh, my son. 
soggy friend. You are out of business. The lost MC are out of business. The guns and crank in this area go through Trevor Phillips Enterprise, or they ain't going. Say something, they'll make it true. Ah! This is happening. I thought you was crazy, man, not stupid. Think about it. The Aztecas is an international enterprise. I think he gets it. I'll go away, man, but my people... I don't like the way he's looking at me. We was always cool. You sure you want to do this? Oh, that feels better! <laughs> I guess he don't run nothing no more. unprecedented turn of events. I always said I was gonna take over. <laughs> People say all kinds of stuff when they're three days into a smoking party. You calling me a bullshitter, friend? Clearly not. No way. You're a man of your word, as evidenced by said events. If I say something is going to happen, it's going to. Maybe not today or tomorrow, but as soon as the moment is opportune. Understood. Yes, sir. If I say I'm fucking dead, then fucking dead I am! I'm not gonna raise my balding head on a beach in ten years' time, saying, All is well! Is this about the ghost? Michael fucking tell me, yes it is! Who you told me about him? Your old running buddy. And who was the other one? Brad was the other one. Locked up in a federal penitentiary. When he finds out Michael survived that job. Yeah. What do you think happened? I knew what happened. I wouldn't be bemoaning these last ten years I've spent in ignorance. Some say ignorance is bliss. Get out of the car, Ron. I need time to think. Run! Speak! You know I don't like using these things. They're listening. Then make it quick. That business thing's been set up. The Chinese guy, Mr. Chang, is at the end. You said that on the phone? What the fuck is wrong with you, damn it, Ron? Now I'm gonna have to discipline you and you know how I feel about that. There you are, handsome. Hello, Mud. How have you been? Oh, simply wonderful. And you? About the same. Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. Even in this world full of scum and detritus, it's only right that we all bear our share. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Take this poor wretch. On the run, desperate, alone, about to learn the true meaning of suffering, all for a few thousand bucks. Think you can find him for me? Every man has his talents, Maud, and the rigorous administration of justice is, uh, it's one of mine. That's why I love you, Trevor. 
I'll send you his file. What's going on, Ron? They were here for you. Here for you. Who was here? Them bikers. After you killed Johnny K. And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home, damage my soul. This, 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 this statue here of impotent rage, this fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone, and they smashed it. Those pathetic midlife crisis, hog-riding, shaven-headed, fruity-leather, chapped-wearing fucking assholes. They're assholes, Trevor. They are. They're chapped-wearing assholes. Oh, wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45. Find them. Los Santos is a big, big place, Trevor. There's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Huh? Find out who did that fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there, or anyone matching his description, I'm gonna kill you and your fucking cousin. Am I being clear now? Yes, Trevor. Thank you, Wayne. Now smile. Yeah, uh -huh. all right? That's better. Run along. Uh -huh. Now, Ron, shall we go? I cannot believe that they fucking destroyed my statue of impotent rage. The cheek, huh? The fucking cheek of it. I got a swing by ammunition. Go to Sandy Shores Airfield, check it out. Come in! Come in! I'll come in your ear when I get a hold of you. I'm not buying anything. I need a sniper rifle with a high power scope. Melvin! How you feel about brand synergy, huh? TP Industries. Ammunition. Good, because you're about to make a corporate gift of a rifle a high power. That's the rifle I need. She'll do nicely. You got a scope and a suppressor for this? It'll be quiet as a mouse. All right, now, stop selling weapons to that half-wit Cletus. I think the last time I cleaned this place, there was another president. I got the gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor. But you gotta look out, because there's bikers all over this airstrip. Of course there are! Two planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run. We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them. We are? Yes, we are. I'm up here. I don't see the hardware, but I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. Hardware's not here yet. I'm coming up. You get a better view from the top. The time is right. Go on, my son. Whenever you get a doubt in your mind, I want you to remember that I'm watching you through the scope of a high-powered rifle. Right, Trevor. 
Right, right. Got it. Now, relax. The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Over by the road. You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me! That's me! Don't shoot! Well, get a move on! I'm moving! Just keep me covered, okay? I saw a guy by the tower. I shot him. Now keep moving. Hurry it up, Ronnie! in my sight, so get a move on and plant that bomb on the gas tank. I can't. There's someone coming out of that building. I can hear him at that far door. There's a second guy coming out of the building. I killed Trevor. Help me! I'm seeing it. Just keep a lookout. And watch out for the tank. It'll go up if you hit it. Someone's coming. He's gonna get me before I finish. He knows I'm here. A boat from the blue. Can you hear that? Chopper! Incoming! Just 
one free, you permit job pricks! Suppose there's room for a passenger? In the van! Look out! The guy who's taking oh, receipt of these guns geez. is in a boat just off the coast. Hey, there's a biker on your wing, Trevor! I am aware of this! Well, you gotta get him off! Do a roll or something! Well, the man on my wing presents no immediate danger, I'll do my best to oblige you. He's still there! Shit, Trevor! You can't get him off! You set up a buyer for these guns already? I thought we was just hitting back at him for the thing with the statue. If you'd read our latest shareholder report, Ron, you'd know TP Enterprises has been exploring a takeover of some lost MC business in the armaments and narcotics sectors for some time. And that kind of requires someone to purchase our guns. Right, of course. But Johnny K and the figurine? Recent events, my impending departure included, have only expedited things. Trevor Phillips Enterprises is a far superior organization to the Lost Leather Club. Well, we hope we improve revenue streams, cut overheads, and maximize profit all that. <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything less. For one thing, we won't be paying a bunch of idiots to stand around in cowhide sniff engine fumes. It's important work you're doing out here. God knows, we need a sharp mind running things. I am blessed to be a part of it. There's a flare in the water. I'm guessing it's them. That's him. Let's do it. Military base coming up. Fly low. We don't want to show on their radar. Successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. We're gonna make some coin from that hardware, boss. TP Enterprises are raising guidance, and the Lost MC are posting unexpectedly soft projections for the coming quarter. They're getting everything that's coming to them. A vast Criminal conspiracy like the Lost MC shouldn't let a goon like Johnny K represent them. He was a man past his prime. I heard he used to be serious. Few hard stamps to the head knocked the seriousness right out of him. Sure did. But before that, I mean, back in Alderney. Man was weak for Crystal, weak for Ashley, man was weak. Shouldn't have spoken to me like that. He shouldn't have. He was a fool. And you corrected him. He'll not do that again. Keep low, over the swamp, boss. So the guns are going to Mexico? Mexico, yeah. Guy in the boat is Oscar Guzman. He's in with the cartels. If there's a market, this could be a way to expand the business. Like I hadn't thought of that? We might be able to buy into Oscar's thing, but leave that to me, Ron. I'm sorry to ask this, but does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? Because I've got those lawyer fees for the divorce, and my settlement costs... Oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? All right, T. I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might. 
Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now. Because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise. Hmm? Managerial innovations. Unstoppable. Oh, that's right. Now go. I need to meditate. Or masturbate. Or both. Show me who's the boss. Ah! Oh, give me a break. Trevor, you're still banned. What about these two? Whoever wins gets banned. Ban him. I have a video. I can't ban him. He's my goddamn husband. He's young enough to be your son. Ain't the internet a beautiful thing, honey? Anyway, I Ooh. saved your husband. Now get me a drink. I got a meeting. Okay. But any more bodies turn up in my bar. I swear, I will not serve you. Mr. Phillips. Ah, uh, here he is. Yes, Mr. Chang, pleasure to meet oh, you. No, I am Mr. Chang's humble translator. Mr. Chang now. You all speak Spanish, speak it to each other! Mr. Tao Chung is uh, pleased to meet your acquaintance. Oh, yeah, he seems it. Oh, 
这真是我人生中最美好的一刻。What the fuck is wrong 就是这个，就是这个，来来来来来。I'm out. No, don't go. Please, I beg you. If you go, his father kill me. Why do I give a fuck? You don't. But we hear that Trevor Phillips Corporation is serious business. We pay good price. Things work out. We partner. Make big money. <laughs> I'm rushing. Well, let me show you the operation. This is us. Coming down to see the kitchen. You can't get here quick enough. The Aztecas are coming. They think you took out Ortega. They ain't mistaken. Well, get down here and take them out too. You sure your boss don't want this crank for his own personal consumption? No, no. Mr. Cheng Senior is very specific. He wants a good, reliable source of methamphetamine. We will buy from you here and distribute using established networks. Shit, Trevor, we ain't got long. Whoa, 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 manner, chef. These are our guests, all right? We got Mr. <laughs> Chang and his humble servant. Hey, Lo uh, Shung. <laughs> nice to meet you. Trevor, we ain't got long till they get here. Everything in its time, all right? Gentlemen, please, come check out the storage facilities. Go on now. Nice, right? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Ample room inside. Mr. Cheng, please, sir, if you will. Let me out! No. Super! Tour will recommence shortly, gentlemen. Should we get the guns? Yes, chef. Help me! If I knew we were having visitors, I would have done a little spring clean. Ortega has always been cool. Yet. There, they all get beat up. They ran the gate. We gotta deal with them. Yeah, yeah. Out, you cocksuckers! Fucking animal. They'll be up here any second. Look out! Up the left side. They gotta have the whole crew here. Woo! I'm starting to think they really want to kill me! They're coming around back! Don't be crazy, T! Get in cover! Now I really am gonna... Give me a damage report. I gotta let our potential business partners out of the ice chest. All right, time to recommence the tour, gentlemen. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! I think we have seen quite enough. Uh, uh, I'll swing by and sign the contracts. All right, just ignore the bodies. 
Hey, Trevor, are we still gonna cook that batch? Fuck yeah! You bequeath me this vehicle. You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash hillbilly, Wallace. <laughs> You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la. Quite <laughs> Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I've proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, no, no, no. You're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 The O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem, since one of them's going to have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them. <laughs> hold on, hold on. You only have yourself to blame. You fuck you! Trevor, it's business! That wide-eyed idiot was mine! It's business, fella! You wanna discuss it? We're at the farm. Ernie, Earl, Walton, Wynn, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dan, all of us. Start writing those names on tombstones, cause I'm on the way to your lab and we're gonna see how much of a family meth business you got when I'm done!
I just spoke to that maniac Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, how many brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how I'm gonna... You dealer man. How about a merger, you prick? Crap, is it for the Keep him upstairs. He found the cook site. Don't ah. come any closer, all right? You win. You can have the contract. We ain't got the ambition, man. We went wrong, okay? Made a bad call. This is just like a subsistence farm. Well, look at this. I don't know how many of my brothers you smoked, but you... Everything you've built, see how it feels. You disrespectful pricks!
Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. <laughs> I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townleys living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut then up I before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos! Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money! And tidy my shit up. Let's go, Wade, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um, so, so we're heading to Los Santos then? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's the stop? Ice cream? Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bunked in with his girlfriend someplace called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um, that might be nice, but where are we stopping on the way? For fuck's sakes, another chapter of the Lost have descended on this fine town, looking to mourn and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I, I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, what are you want
They're gonna knock, knock the guy's guy. Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Let's go find my old buddy. This Michael Townley guy must have pissed you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him? The federal government. They pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired-ass movie quotes? With my dead friend's alias? And my dead friend's family? And a house that must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah. Well, I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, P. Trevor? Move up your eye hole, fucker. Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm about ready to turn you into roadkill. Uh, please, don't turn me into anything. I just wanna be away. Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story, if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tr... Tr... Uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have, but he didn't know what to do with it. He should become a baseball player. No, he shouldn't, because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Or hockey player. He did for a while, but his coach accidentally had a stick jammed up his ass. What could he do? I'll tell you in a second, okay? Just let me concentrate on the road. That's it. That giant sprawl, Los Santos. Oh! Get you get! Get you get! So, this is Mo Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert? It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. This is where dead men come back to life. Huh? It's been nearly ten years. Oh, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You mother fucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? It's Vespucci Beach where he's staying. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? You were saying what he could do. He, he couldn't throw, and his coach had a had a stick accident like. Boy, gonna live here. Steal the life of ah! And his coach had a had a stick accident like like I had once. Right, right. But he could fly planes, this kid. So he signed up to the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe just maybe drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings. An evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable. Grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him to a 
deep pit of doubt, despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was your troll's name? Mike. Nesh. Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no. no. Oh, careful. No, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob his shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha... Ah! Little Trisha did rob people, and little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club, and they fell in lust, and he bought her a pair of fake troll tits, even bigger than his... Trevor! Oh, oh, we're near Floyd's house. I seen it on the iPhone maps. I'll give you directions. Keep it straight now. Now keep going. I turn right here. Go straight on here. This is the place, I think it is at least. Floyd! Floyd! It's up here, Trevor! Come to visit you, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you wait. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's had a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called in Evelyn's bed. A guy was never proved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too. <laughs> 